are the remnants of society, cast aside like the clean-picked bones of a hunter's feast. I led my flock beneath the sun-baked sands of the wasteland to keep them safe and teach them my ways. Men of science would call us cannibals, eaters of human flesh. Society labels us as monsters. Ha! A cannibals, not vampires, brought blood drinkers. You actually real humanitarian. I find your choice of words quite droll, but that is what I have come to expect from your kind. People like you call for our extermination or reform. Reforming implies something is wrong with us and needs to be eliminated. I think of my teachings as more of an improvement, a way to transcend our cannibalistic nature. You know what? I think I said something wrong. But I wanna be realistic. A cannibal by any other name is still a cannibal. That is completely untrue. Your difficulty grasping the concept that change is possible in my people perplexes me. Let me try a different approach. Let me counter that ignorance with a lesson in objectivity. I say we are no longer cannibal, only consuming the blood of our prey. What would that make us in your eyes? <laughs> Vampires, I guess. No idea. Then that is a mystery you will have to solve on your own. In ceremony, each member of the family must speak one of the laws. It is theirs to remember and to enforce. Perhaps from these laws you can discover what we are. Return to me when you are ready. What? He gave me a password. Some random letters and numbers. Okay, is this this terminal I was trying to break in earlier? I've never seen you around here before. Yeah, I've just came here. Don't even think of breaking into that. Oh no no no! I was just given the password there. Okay, so basically he gave me an opportunity to... He gave me an opportunity to learn some of his family laws. I didn't have any plans to join them or something, like join the family. That's what I'm thinking he's trying to do, to be... to get me as a part of the family. But for now, I will pretend to be nice with them, as if I was trying to do, but probably this one will give me, like, you know, an access to iron. Well, that's how it works from my experience of playing games. You need to gain their trust, and then they can entrust you something important. But first, I find it interesting too about this Arif incident. Okay, I don't wanna read it. Well, probably you can stop and read it on your own time. But probably what he wanted me to do is to find about these laws of the family. The first law... Feast not on us flesh, consume only the blood, this is our strength. Got it? Well, I don't actually need to read a description to understand what it is about. Drink, drink blood, not, no flesh. Second law, bear not the child, welcome on the exile, this is our fate. Okay, they are not accepting children. The third one is... Feed not for pleasure, partake only uh, to nourish. This is our dignity. Okay, um, basically he's trying to, you know, 
not to over -ex over extend his people so they wouldn't be hated even more the first one seek not the sunlight embrace only shadows that's our refugee ah okay uh, hound at night night usual vampire thingy and the fifth one is kill not our kindred ah uh, slay only the enemy this is our justice this is pretty normal laws let's speak with him again hey man I got you your laws I do, do. You wish to speak to me again Yeah, I finally understand what you people are. Indeed. Tell me what you've learned from the laws. What do you think we are? I think you are kind of vampires. Yeah, you are you're drink you're drinking blood, uh, hunting at night only, not eating flesh. Yeah, it reminds me about vampires the most. Do you think I believe I can turn into a bat and fly away? Of course not. Do I cast my image in a mirror? Absolutely. Now, ask me if I believe these individuals from every corner of the wasteland need me to give them a sense of purpose and identity. I have shown these people the ways of the vampire. I've provided them shelter. Yeah, you accepted ex it yourself, you're a vampire. Belonging. Uh, do you... You do this by teaching them their mystical beings? Now, you disappoint me. You need to open your mind and think for a moment before you pass judgment. I have reigned in their cravings and taught them to eat not of the flesh, but to drink of the blood. Most importantly, they have a family. A place where their quirks are tolerated and understood. Okay. Uh, but now I need to find iron. Ah, yes. My newest charge. What would you want with him? I have a letter from his sister. Then a part of his human family still remains? Even more of a reason he needs to remain in isolation. Ian is at a critical moment in his life right now. After all that occurred in Erafu, he is scared and confused. It would be ill-advised for me to allow you to speak to him while he decides what he wants to do. I don't think it would be like a good time to be very rude with him. I'd prefer to take this one, but no. What happened? Ian's hunger for flesh overwhelmed him. It drove him to kill his parents. Because of my intervention, ah, oh. just short of being lost forever to his cravings for flesh. <laughs> I see. This is what you call like a plot twist. But I find it hard to believe. The hunger that drives us must be <coughs> oh, Sorry. It is one of the most difficult things to teach. Ian lost control because no one was around to guide him. His own family was alien to him. He had a moment of weakness, and it was fatal. You must let me speak with him. I still have a letter. No, it would not be right to disturb him in this time of meditation. I am sorry, but I cannot allow it. Damn it! What should I do then?
Okay, think about, think of it. Okay, I don't need this. Maybe... That's what, I'm, that's what I'm talking about. Some of the quests are dissolvable with uh, high speechcraft. I think that's where he is, but my speechcraft is very crappy. It was like 10%. Okay, I'm quick saving again, and I, I wanna try to speak with you again. You wish, to, you wish to speak to me again? I do. Maybe now that I have the better understanding of the family, can I speak with him? I had always assumed if a human happened upon our home, it would be for the purpose of our extermination. It appears my fears were ill-placed. It is a pleasant surprise to meet someone as amenable as yourself. Very well. I will Thanks allow you God. to him. Perhaps you can help him come to grips with his greatest enemy, himself. Oh, thanks, goodness. You are free goodness. to roam the common area of our home as our guest. Thank you. But, can I... No? My goodness, yes! I've waited so for so long. I didn't sleep like a whole day. I'm dying for some good sleep. And suddenly I... I woke up from... Um, because I was completely hungry. Man, this is, this is extensive, very extensive. Okay. Now let's have some food. Beets and cola. Okay, now I think I can sleep a little bit more and sleep a little bit better because I'm not hungry anymore. Yeah, the remaining six hours I didn't. I skipped. Because I suddenly awoke and because I was extremely hungry. Okay, now it is the morning, but it does not matter here. Because, you know, we're underground. Wow, that's a big password. Unlock a door, and I don't think it would be a good idea to activate any security. You are Iron West. Huh? What do you want? Uh. I honestly wanna say this one because I spent so much time to looking for you but I won't do this I need to be a little bit nicer I guess I shouldn't be surprised I'm sure Evan King is pretty pissed right about now I bet he has the entire town out looking for me he's worse than my parents I'm here to take you home. Home? I don't have a home anymore. I made sure of that, didn't I? Y 
It doesn't matter what happened in the past. Of course it matters. The past is what's keeping me up at night. That night is like a bad dream. I can see parts of it, but I don't remember what happened. It was the fucking hunger. That thing that's haunted me my entire life. Look, I know last two. It and it hurts. And probably I told these words before. The f uh, losses are painful, but we can still uh, live with this. There's something inside me, something completely messed up. I'm a mutant, a fucking freak. The only person I was ever able to talk to was my sister Lucy, and she's gone. No one gives a shit about me except Vance and the family. Can't you understand that? Speaking of Lucy, uh, I have a letter, a letter for you. She, she really misses being home, and she's asked about me and here a lot. I think I had it all wrong. I shouldn't have come here. I bet Lucy is feeling just as bad as me. Please, tell Vance I've made my decision. I'm going home to Arfu. I hope to see you there as well. I'm just gonna gather my stuff together and say my goodbyes, then I'll head on back. Okay, let's talk about Vance and please don't be uh, don't be pissed about it, Vance. You seems uh, you seem to be pretty reasonable person, and you shouldn't be extremely frustrated about it. I guess. I trust your talk with young Ian went well. I am quite interested in learning the results of your discussion. Did he come to a decision? But really, uh, did, how did you already know that he would decide to stay or to leave? My fine friend, that poor soul has been wrestling with the same question every new member of the family asks himself when they arrive. Do I belong here or should I depart? All I ask is that they spend the time to reflect before deciding in solitude. You know what? Before I end, let's talk about this Arifu. As long as you maintain this level of civility, please proceed. No, I'm still like an engineer and scientist and um, what I've learned from the science classes that there is n there is no like the only answer for to solve the problem and I guess I'll go with intelligence and there must be an alternate way of uh, blood Many years ago, I survived by drinking from fresh blood packs I recovered from hospital ruins. The problem with your idea is that these blood packs are scarce. What do you propose? Like, you know what? Um, this, I... I don't like this for the uh, for the reason that they are still these vampires or cannibals or whatever they are, and does it doesn't it sound strange? The people are under protection of cannibals, and my point is, uh, what if they? Uh, become starving again like iron was and at the same time they lost quite a lot in this last fight so you know what Arafu will sell you blood packs and you leave the town alone 
He will sell it, uh, so because Arifu needs some money to go. Although I appreciate what you are trying to do, please realize that we have no money or goods to speak of. What little money Carl makes with his shop goes to buying weapons and ammunition to protect ourselves. I am very sorry. But perhaps you can make a better offer? No money, eh? Well, in that case... I'll, t uh, I'll speak that Ar he, uh, Arifu donates blood packs and you leave the town alone. I don't want to give Arifu under your protection. Agreed. Please, take this proposal to Arifu. Speak with them and then return to me with their decision. I thank you for showing me that your kind can be trusted after all. It is a lesson I will not forget. Now, what of young Ian? Tell me his decision. Mm, he decided to leave. It saddens me to lose one of my flock, but I believe everyone has to follow their own path. All I was attempting to do was guide him. Now it seems that responsibility has fallen upon you. I hope you will be more successful. Please, I want you to take this. Consider it as an apology to you for all the hardships you had to endure finding this place. Goodbye, human. Our time together has been rather educational. Skymatics, shish kebab. Uh, it looks like it is a melee weapon. Hello there, stranger. But at the same time, you know, I'm an inventor and engineer, so. I think it would be like a nice exchange to the sword I have and you know like I'm an engineer and working with my uh, own made weapon that sounds pretty uh, good to me so let's actually see uh, this shish kebab Okay, what you need? Motor motorcycle gas tank, lawn mower blade, pilot light, and motorcycle motor motorcycle handbrake. Let's see if Carl have any of this, and he's not here. Okay, what should I do now? Ah, return to Evan Keen with this proposition. Gotcha. Well, it appears that they weren't that bad, actually. Like, I've expected much worse uh, plot twist, but I think they are okay. Okay, now I need to find my way back up. Yeah, I guess I disarmed all the traps. My man, that was protected, Bastion. Okay, this is where my lurks are. I don't wanna get back to them. I'll probably use uh, one of those axes I found earlier by uh, going through there. Yeah, here's the one. Okay, I guess I'm kinda on the final stage here. Arrested train yard, gotcha. But even oh shit, I almost forgot. 
I forgot to get irradiated. Wait, 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 wait. You know what? Even if I return to Keen first, I don't want to return to him by glowing like this. And I will need to return uh, to this metro anyways to tell Vance about decision. Uh, this is why I'll probably speak with 